Good evening to you. It's I, Nick Watts, back again for We Love Betting uh, to take a look at the Premier League. Uh, I had a rather good week last week. Uh, I got two out of three. Uh, only Hull let me down uh, in the evening kickoff, and I did accept that that was a bit of a punt. Um, I thought they were a decent value of 13 to 10, but um, Stubborn Stoke obviously prevented me uh, from getting the result there. But yeah. The taste of profit again, which was a nice way to uh, to bounce back from a really poor week the week before. So uh, I'm looking to, to do well again this weekend, but admittedly it's all been a bit of a mad rush. Um, it's Thursday night and I am just about to whisk my girlfriend away for a romantic birthday weekend in the Midlands, uh, no less. But still, uh, I'm sure it's a nice spot when I get there. Enough of the romance though, uh, this is about war, war with the bookies, uh, and I've managed to pick two bets out um, in the time that I've had uh, to do a bit of research on the Premier League coupon this weekend, uh, so hopefully you'll like them. The first one is from the Liverpool-Cardiff game, that 12.45 kickoff. off um, Liverpool 2-9 to nine best price, and uh, I miss the good old days, last season, the season before when... Liverpool were always this sort of price, and you could just chuckle away and, you know, think what a, a bunch of loonies the bookies were, or loonies the punters were, who were piling into them to make them that price, I suppose. Um, and you could lay them on a regular basis, and it was uh, almost guaranteed profit in the long run. Um, it doesn't seem that way anymore, does it? We've got uh, we've got Luis Suarez uh, in something of a rich vein of form. Um, you look at some of the stats I've, I've scribbled down here, um, well, apart from that Southampton slip-up, of course, uh, they've won the rest of their home games. Um, they've won three to nil, uh, they've won five by two or more goals, and four of those um, by three or more goals. There's some real hammerings in there. Uh, eight of their last ten home games, they've won half-time, full-time as well. So, um a lot going for Liverpool, particularly on their own patch at the moment, and, and look pretty decent against Spurs, even before the man got sent off in Paulinho. And Jordan Henderson, who would have thought it, filling in for Steven Gerrard in, in fantastic fashion, really. So, uh, they're looking good. Cardiff, meanwhile, um, I always felt that their uh, Premier League survival hopes would be built on their home form. Uh, certainly their promotion campaign um, was on the back of a very strong home record. Um, they're seventeen to one here. Um, although, sorry, they were seventeen to one when I first made my notes. I've actually looked again tonight. They've been cut to sixteen to one. Um, and rarely is football so straightforward that you can say that, that a team has absolutely no chance. Um, I guess the bookies are learning a bit of a lesson here, and that there's been a few instances over the last couple of seasons where we've seen these sort of teams at twenty to one plus, and you can get stuck into the handicaps, at sort of plus three goals. Or, uh, getting on for even money a lot of the time. Um, I haven't made that mistake here, so I can't go down that road, unfortunately. Um, but Cardiff's not a great record away. They've won one, drawn three, lost four uh, so far this season. Uh, they've scored just four goals and failed to score in five of their eight away trips, um, which is a, a little worrying um, from an attacking point of view. And that's despite the fact that, that actually... Seven of those eight uh, away games have been against sides now in the bottom half as things stand. So you worry about them a bit when you, you think they've still got a lot of, uh, of the bigger teams to go to. They obviously got hammered at Chelsea despite taking the lead. Um, and although Liverpool have kind of had a bit of a nasty habit where they're scoring so many goals that they tend to leak one perhaps uh, out of a, a touch of laziness uh, at the other end, uh, I actually think the only way you can be with Liverpool really uh, this weekend is to back them to win to nil. It's an even money, and you compare that to half time, full time, and the handicaps. Um, I think there's some bookies offering one to two on Liverpool minus uh, a goal. So, not interested in that one, I have to say. Uh, it's win to nil I'm going for, and that's at evens. On to the second bet then, and uh, I'm looking at Man United West Ham here. Slightly less predictable, I suppose, um, but I'm going for a touch of value because I'm looking at under two and a half goals here at five to four. I've talked a lot about unders uh, so far this season uh, and enjoyed quite a lot of the profits from it, particularly when Southampton were uh, an unders machine at the start of the season. Um, but there's a lot of reasons to think that uh, unders could come into this, uh, this game. Um, Manchester United 
four to eleven to win the game, um, which interesting is the same price as Man City away to Fulham this weekend. Um, I'm not sure what that says. Um, I wouldn't blame you for laying that price, in all honesty, uh, based on the, the home form, the, the form generally, which has been very up and down, of course, this season. 11th in the home standings. Incredible, really, to think that that much. West Ham, of course, won in midweek at Spurs again. Um, and uh, you've got to think they're coming into the game in relatively good spirits. Um, but you need to bear in mind, looking at the stats, uh, Man United, when playing a side in the bottom six at the time at home, have won the last eight in a row. Uh, and West Ham have lost 12 of the last 20 away games, um, so not great travellers all round. Um, why do I like unders here? Well, how about the fact that 75% of games at Old Trafford this season have indeed paid it out? Um, how about the fact that Man United have only scored eight goals in their eight home games, which is frankly amazing. They, they've scored three goals once, they've managed two goals once, um, They've had one goal in three of the games, and they've failed to score in three of the games. Uh, these are unthinkable stats, really, when you look back over recent times. Um, and, you know, it seems they're struggling at, at both ends of the pitch. It's not just the defence that's, that's letting them down. West Ham, meanwhile, pretty much famous in these circles for not scoring away goals. Um, they're still missing Downing, they're still missing Nolan, of course Andy Carroll as well. Um, they've scored just five goals in eight away games, and three of them, of course, were at Spurs, um, which you know was still a, an absolutely incredible match, despite the fact they they went and did it again midweek. Um, can you tell I'm an Arsenal fan? Keep bringing that up. Anyway, yes, under two and a half goals at five to four as a result of those stats um, looks like a big price to me. So just to cap it off. Uh, my two bets for the Premier League this weekend. I've got Liverpool to beat Cardiff to nil or even money, and I've got five to four for under two and a half goals between Man United and West Ham. Good luck, everyone.